authentic faith. Job chapter one, Job and his family. Many years ago, a man named Job lived in the land of Uz. He was a truly good person who respected God and refused to do evil. Job had seven sons and three daughters. He owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 pair of oxen, 500 donkeys, and a large number of servants. He was the richest person in the East. Job's sons took turns having feasts in their home, and they always invited their three sisters to join in the eating and drinking. After each feast, Job would send for his children and perform a ceremony as a way of asking God to forgive them of any wrongs they may have done. He would get up early the next morning and offer a sacrifice for each of them, just in case they had sinned or silently cursed God. One day, when the angels had gathered around the Lord and Satan was there with them, the Lord asked, Satan, where have you been? Satan replied, I have been going all over the earth. Then the Lord asks, what do you think of my servant Job? No one on earth is like him. He is truly, he is a truly good person who respects me and refuses to do evil. Why shouldn't he respect you? Satan remarked. You are like a wall protecting not only him, but his entire family and all his property. You make him successful in whatever he does, and his flocks and herds are everywhere. Try taking away everything he owns, and he will curse you to your face. The Lord replied, All right, Satan, do what you want with anything that belongs to him, but don't harm Job. Then Satan left. Heavenly Father, thank you for the power of faith. Thank you for opening our spiritual mind to understand that faith is not governed by our intellect, but by total trust in you even in the darkest periods. Job is an excellent example and reminder for us of your permission to inflict extreme suffering as a demonstration of authentic faith. We know about Job, but sometimes we are despondent when we know of those who tr whose trust in you is solid and we see them suffering. We wonder why are the evil folks doing well and the good enduring such pain and loss. Job reminds us to hold on to our faith through every phase of our life that the blessings of our lives are not limited to our time on earth and the things we have gained here. Strengthen our minds to retain your words. Let the power of your word be constant in our ears so we can withstand the test, the fiery furnace and darts of the wicked. When we are tempted and tried, may we be resolved to hold on no matter the circumstances. For your good servants in the path of pain, we cry out for them. Lord, keep them strong and don't let them suffer longer than they need to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.